the club were formed, uh, it was thought of first off in 1912. Uh, they got permission to do it and they finally completed it in 1914, in May. Uh, it was the Bowlsover Castle Tradesmen's Bowling Club. It's lovely to see folks coming out. It's a nice, nice atmosphere, lovely setting to come and play. Uh, just great all round, really. It must be so nice just to come out on a on, on a sort of an afternoon or a morning and just sort of play bowls in this sort of setting. Beautiful. I don't think you could get better. Uh, not only the castle, but that way as well. Lovely. And what made you come along today? Well, we moved last year. And we just fancied having a go because uh, I remember enjoying it when I was a little boy and Rachel's never tried it so we, th we thought we'd give it a go. And what's the, the, the sort of welcome you've received from the club? Oh Elaine was lovely, yeah. Yeah, yeah she'd, uh, she showed us the ropes and uh, sort of showed us how it works. Still don't understand how it works totally but we're, <laughs> we're getting there. <laughs> and you've got a couple of newbies today I understand who've come along for the first time. What would you say to, to encourage people to come in and come and join the club or just come and have a friendly game of balls with you? I would say come and give it a go. Come and give it a go and see if you like it or not. There's nothing more than that really. It's it's nice, nice nice sociable game. For me personally, that's what I enjoy. Yeah. The the social bit of it, meeting people, travelling out and meeting people from other teams and just generally enjoying it, yeah.